This video will run you through how to use the Sony HVR MRC1 memory card recorder in conjunction with a Sony Z7P video camera. Now this memory card recorder will work with other cameras like the Z5P for instance, but uh, we're going to demo with the Z7. So this is the device I'm referring to on the left hand side here, and you can also see we've got the mounting bracket which we'll look at that a little bit later when it comes to capturing our material onto the computer. So let's take that out of the way. So the device itself is pretty straightforward. Uh, it uses a CF memory card. So if you pop it open, you can see it there and we can eject the card like so. So we've just got a little eight gig in there at the moment. So we mount this memory card recorder onto the back over the battery. So we'll move this just into frame a bit more and push it in and you should hear a nice satisfying click if you have installed it correctly. Once you've installed it, switch the camera on and switch the memory card recorder on. And once you've done that, we need to just double check a couple of options. Now you can get away without doing this and just record by pressing both these buttons simultaneously on the back, but that can be a bit of a pain because apart from anything else, the buttons are quite fiddly. We want to make it so when we hit record on the camera itself, like we're used to if we were using a tape, it also starts recording with the memory card recorder. So let's have a look at the camera side first. We'll have to go into the camera's menu and we'll scroll down till we get to the two opposite facing arrows, the in-out record menu, and I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom until we get to external recording control. Currently it's set to off. I'm gonna to touch on that or so select that, and I'm gonna change this to synchronous. Okay, return, and close the menu. So that's the camera side set up. Now we need to set up the memory card recorder so it works in conjunction with the camera. So on the back of the memory card recorder, we've got a menu button, we'll just touch on that. And then we'll use the downward arrow over here to go down to our settings. Now, if we go one further, you can see there's a all reset button. So if you wanna reset everything back to factory defaults, you can use that. But uh, we're gonna just uh, go into settings and change one of the options in here. So under the settings menu, go down, down again, until you see cam link and then select that. And we want to make sure it's set to synchronous. So by default, it's set to follow. Um, I've gone through this a couple of times now, so I've actually set it up properly. But by default, once you get it out of the box, or if you just reset it, it's probably set to follow. So set it up to synchronous, or ensure it's set to synchronous, and hit the play button to select that. And then we can go back out of the menu. So now, if I was to push record on the back of the camera, we'll see the little light comes on at the back of the memory card recorder indicating that it is recording and you'll also see a circle instead of a square, so a record instead of a stop, on the back of the display. We'll push it once more and we'll see that it blinks for a couple of seconds, just finishing the file, writing to the card, and now it has stopped and that circle on the display has gone back to a square. So now it's actually captured some of our material. How do we get that onto the computer? Well, we'll switch off the camera and we'll switch off the memory card recorder and we'll just uh, push down on the release to pop that off and I'm also going to take the battery out of the camera because I want to use that in the cradle. Let's move that out of the way. So we've got the memory card recorder, we've got the cradle and we've got the battery as well. Let's just move those over a bit. We need to connect these all together and then we need to connect it to our computer via FireWire. So, this goes into the cradle like so and then, always get this around the wrong way and yes I've done it again, there we go. That mounts on like so. So it looks a little bit strange to be honest, uh, but that's what we're meant to do. And then we'll connect up FireWire to the little six pin FireWire port. So I've got a FireWire cable here with me. We'll connect that up and I'll connect the other end to my computer. That's Ethernet, there we go, FireWire. Oops, got that caught in my mic. All right, now that we've got it connected up to the computer, we'll switch the device on. And we'll just move it back so it's a little bit easier to see there. And we'll just tilt it because the light's getting in the way. There we go, we can see it saying welcome. And then the CF card will blink 
as it's reading the contents of the card. And after a moment, we should see it pop up on our computer. So here it is, EOS Digital. Now yours would probably say something different. I'm using the CF card in an SLR video camera as well. So SLR video camera, SLR still camera. Um, once we go into that drive, whatever it is called, uh, inside you should see a folder called video and inside that you should see HVR. So these are all the files we've been recording. So I'm just going to copy that across to my desktop just to save all those shots. Now mine are just short test shots. It'll probably take a couple of minutes if you have been doing quite a bit of recording. Once you've done that, you can then go into a package like Premiere. So let me just do that now. Okay, it's launched. Let's just create a temp project and I'll just save it on the desktop, hit OK. And then I need to select the correct settings for this particular recorder and that will be HDV. Uh, in my case, 1080p, 25 frames per second, hit OK. And then import, Command I, Control I to import. Find that folder and let's just choose any of these, hit OK. You'll notice that the file name extension is a .m2t. That is the uh, format that it records into or the file name extension that it records into. And once you've imported it, you should be able to double click on it and interact with it just like any other file. So this is just a different option. You can, of course, just use tape and that still works pretty well even today. But tape can be pretty slow to work with occasionally. So you might want to invest in something like this memory card recorder just to speed up your workflow. Or also you can use it so you have redundancy. So it records to tape and also to the memory card recorder. Mm -hmm.